Hey there guys, and I'm back. For you guys who are still sticking around, you're still subscribed, you've still got those notifications on, make sure you put them on, because I'm gonna try and get back into my channel. I've been struggling to get some videos out of late because of the work I've had to be doing, but I'm gonna be trying to get back on the grind now as we approach summer, and well, I couldn't really not do a World Cup video, so I thought, I'll do a World Cup prediction video. I'll see how much I can get right. I'll look back on it. I looked back on my Euro ones earlier today. I didn't do too bad, got most of the groups right. Um, so we're going to be trying to do that today, basically, guys. Stick around, watch this Euro 2016, not Euro 2016, World Cup 2018 in Russia prediction. And yeah, we're going to be seeing what I can do here. Subscribe, turn the notifications on, drop a like, comment, do whatever you want to do on this video because I am back and the uh, year better than ever. So we're going to be starting straight into this one. We're gonna, we've got Group A, Group B, and Group C here. We're going to be starting off with Group A, of course, Egypt, Uruguay, Saudi Arabia, and Russia. Now, for me, there's only one really real winner here in the group, and that is Uruguay. So I'm going to go ahead and put them first spot. I think with Suarez and Cavani, they've got actually a nice, good goal scoring threat up there. But they've also ended up developing a nice balance at the back. They've got the likes of Mosleda and Goal. They've got Godin, one of the best defenders in the world, in my opinion, at Atletico Madrid. They've got Jimenez partnering in. Also, Atletico Madrid, I believe, the best defensive team in the world. So they've got a nice balance there. Good attack, good defence. I think that'll carry them through the group quite comfortably. And in second place, I'm going to go for the host, Russia. I know a lot of people have not been, I've been writing them off, but I think Russia are, 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 are a solid side. In their qualifying, in their friendlies coming up, they drew to Spain three or each near, it's got some cracking goals. And they look up for it. I think in their home nation as well, they're going to put up a show for their fans, that's for sure. And I just can't see them going out on the group stage, which does unfortunately need Egypt coming third in the group. I think... Without Mohamed Salah for their first game, that could be a big, big issue for them. So yeah, if um, I think Egypt without Salah are literally they're just not much of a team. I mean, everyone is hoping they can do well simply because of Salah, but personally, I don't think they're going to really be doing that much. Um, and yeah, now we're going to be moving straight on to Group B. Spain, Morocco, Portugal and Iran. An interesting group. I think Morocco and Iran could cause a few upsets here. We're going to be diving straight into it. I'm a Spain supporter. I'm going to put it out there. And I think Spain are going to top this group. I think we've looked good in qualifying. We've got a nice balance between experienced players and nice youthful and skillful players such as Diago, um, Isco, and uh, also um, Asensio players like that. And then there's players like Silva, Ramos, Pique. So we've got some good players in there. Um, and I think it's a real nice balance with likes of De Gea and goal. You know, players that can add around it. Costa, Aspas, Rodrigo. So I think we will come top. Um, and then I think I'll put Portugal second, just because they're European champions. I think they should be able to get through this one. Um, just about. I think they will just make it out ahead of Morocco and Iran. And I'm going to put Morocco third, just because I think they've got the players to do it. But do not be fooled by thinking that Iran and Morocco are poor nations, because I think they're going to cause big, big issues here for the likes of Spain and Portugal. I just can't see anyone scoring more than a goal a game against the likes of Iran, who are fantastic defensively. They've got 12 consecutive clean sheets during qualifying, so they are not a team to just be brushed aside and disrespected. And now we're moving on to Group C, guys. We've got France, we've got Australia, we've got Denmark, and we've got Peru. This is the one that's easy for me. I've gone to France top. Now, the difficult bit for me is between Denmark or Peru. I would probably put Denmark because they're a European team, but I just feel like the teams that aren't European shock the European teams in competitions like this. They just have more energy, more enthusiasm. And I'm, I think Peru could do it. They've done really, really well in qualifying. Remember, they drew to Argentina. They had some good results against the likes of Brazil, Uruguay, who also did really well in qualifying there. Uruguay, Suarez's team. But... I can't pick between Denmark and Peru, so I'm going to be going for Peru here. It's a very interesting call. I know a lot of people will be thinking Denmark get through. They may well get through, but I think Peru are also a solid side. And I think they've got a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of desire to win the ball back, um, fight for their nation. So I'll put them second. I think they can do something in this World Cup. And now the guys are going to be moving on to the next three groups. We've got Group D, we've got Group E, and we've got Group F. Group D, we've got Iceland, Argentina, Croatia, and Nigeria. Probably the group I'm most excited to watch. There's that and another group later on, with the likes of Poland, Colombia, and also Senegal. And those are the two groups I'm most excited to watch. I just want to see how they pan out, because quite frankly, I'm not sure if I can pick them myself. Um, I'm, for Group D, though, I am going to put Argentina top. I know it's controversial. I don't think they're that, they're that good of a side after Argentina, but I think the Messi is going to real show, really show up for this one. And I think they are really out there to prove a point that they can do something. So I think they're going to come top. In second place, I'm also going to go for Croatia there. In third place, I'm going to put Nigeria. And in fourth place, Iceland. We'll start with the ball here with Iceland. I know everyone thinks that they maybe can go on another fairy tale run, and they did in the Euro 2016, but I just don't think they can. Now, I know they are solid qualifying, but I don't think they will. Nigeria are very energetic, so I don't think they've got a lot of enthusiasm there, but I'm not sure if the talent is really there for Nigeria. Um, 
point it's Croatia, I think I've got plenty of really good field players. You've got the likes of Kovacic, Modric, Rakitic, then I've probably got Perisic, Mandzukic, Kramaric, um, Kalinic. So they've got a lot of good players that can get them goals. I think I'll finish behind a very, very optimistic Argentina who will be looking to prove something in this World Cup. Now into Group E for this one. This is one of the most certain ones that I think are going to come top, and that is Brazil. I think they are incredible right now with the likes of Neymar, Coutinho, Firmino, Gabriel Jesus, William Douglas Costa. I mean, they, the attacking options these guys have is out of this world. Like, the, their second front three that like any other team would take you going to this World Cup. So I think they're going to brush aside quite a few opposition here. And I mean, Serbia, Switzerland, and Costa Rica, they could all get beaten 3 or 4 0 by Brazil. I'm not going to joke about this, my friends. But Neymar coming back from injury, he scored the other day already back from injury, and that was a long injury. So I mean, that shows how, how up for it he is in this tournament. Um, I think he's going to cause a lot of issues, Neymar, I really do. But it's whether Brazil can do something in this tournament, and I think they can. I think they're going to right the wrongs um, of the 2014 World Cup, so I think they're going to come top. Second, I'm going to go for Switzerland. They've ranked highly, and I think they've got a really solid squad um, going into this one, and they're a hard-working side, so I think they've got second, and I think they're also just a good bunch of players. Third, Serbia. Fourth, Costa Rica. That's what I'm going to go for. Serbia, again, they've got some good players. You know, Valimic, Matic. They have got some good players, I'm not going to deny that, but I think Switzerland are going to just outnumber us on the them on this one. And moving on to Group F, we've got South Korea, we've got Germany, we've got Sweden, and we've got Mexico. First, I'm going to go Germany. I don't think they're going to be as strong as people think they are. I know they're born winners, Germany, but I just don't think they're going to be that good. They've decided to not take Leroy Sane. Very, very controversial call, may I just say so myself. I just don't really understand what's happening there. I think they're a side that lacked pace. They needed that pace on the left-hand side. They've not got it. Not complaining as a Spain fan. Germany, one of our main competitors for the World Cup, but you know what? Uh, that's just what they've gone for. That is their loss. Um, then we've got Sweden, Mexico. It's between them, really, and I'm going to go for Mexico for the same reason I went for Peru over Denmark. I just think that these South American teams, or I know they're not obviously from South America, but these other teams that aren't European, they do end up actually getting getting over the European side. So I don't know what it is. They just have that. The more I don't know. They just seem to outnumber them every single time I fail when... Uh, when a European side goes similarly matched to a side outside of Europe, that when they play, I feel that the non-European side always seems to get the better of them. Although Sweden beat Italy in qualifying, which is a big, big ask, people are going to back them, but I'm not. I'm going to put them third. I'm going to put Korea fourth. And I think I've got the final two groups of this competition. I feel the Group G is so self-explanatory. They've got the two worst teams in the entire competition, in my opinion. In Panama and Tunisia are in there. Belgium top, England second, Tunisia third, Panama fourth. I just think Panama are going to get beaten every game 5-0 or so. I don't think they've got enough of balance to be anywhere near a World Cup. And uh, in terms of Tunisia... Let's see what they can do. Let's see what they can do. I'm not really sure. They got a draw against Turkey the other day, which isn't a bad result. Um, and let's see what they can do. Let's see if they can surprise a few people. England, I think they're probably the most disappointing nation in this entire competition. Um, and Belgium, I think that with the likes of Hazard, De Bruyne, they can do something. Again, an underwhelming opposition. Um, an underwhelming... Um, side of late in these major competitions but let's see what Belgium can do in this one and group eight this is the other group I was talking about earlier which I simply cannot choose what's going to happen but I think I've made my decision and this is what I'm going to go for I'm going to go for Colombia top of the group I feel that they always perform in the, in the big competition as I mentioned the sides like Peru and stuff Mexico sides like these Colombia another one in there I think they're going to perform big time in this competition so I think Colombia are going to come top of that group Second and third, though, I am going to go for Poland, and I am going to go for Senegal third. That hurts me. I think Senegal can do something seriously impressive in this competition. Just look at their side, Koulibaly. Their midfield is stacked full of absolutely work, absolute workhorses in there. They've got Idrissa Gay, they've got Kiyata, they've got Ndiaye from Stoke, who I really rate, by the way. I think he's a gal. He doesn't deserve to be playing in the championship. And they've also got Mane up front, of course. So they've got, some, they've got plenty of energetic talent in there, but... I think Poland are going to get the better of them. I think Poland are a solid side, actually, so I've gone for them second. And that's how my group stages are looking. Can this be the actual group stages of the World Cup? Maybe, maybe it can. We're going to continue now. We're going to move on to the round of 16s and the knockout stages. Here we are, then, guys. The knockout stages of the World Cup 2018 at Russia. We're going to be starting off here with Uruguay versus Portugal. I think this is going to be a very, very good game. Can Ronaldo do it? No, I don't think he can. I think Uruguay are going to get through on this one. I don't think Portugal are as good as, they, as people think they are. I really don't. I'm going to go for Uruguay on that one. I think they've got the power. They've got the presence. And I think they've got determination, really, more than Portugal. I think, don't think Portugal are that good of a side these days. Um, I think they got very, very lucky to actually win Euro 2016 in the first place. 
Croatia versus France. Croatia are very good side, but I think France is going to really go the distance in this competition, so I'm going to be putting them through in a in a cracking match against Uruguay in the quarterfinals. Brazil, Mexico, Mexico, Pope will stern fight there for sure, but I think Brazil probably scraped through that one. And Belgium, Poland, again, I think that, I think Poland could do something there, but I am actually also going to be going for... Yeah, I'm going to be going for Belgium in that one. I think Belgium will make it through uh, ahead of Poland. Spain, Russia. I think people will be thinking that's easier than it is. I think, uh, we played Russia in a friendly recently at the end of 2017. Um, and, well, it was quite tough. We actually do three all in the end. I know we had a rested side playing that game, but they're a good side, Russia. They're better than people think they are. I know people, a, lot of, a lot of people think they're, they're maybe going to come third in their group. Some even fourth, but I think they're going to come um, second in it. I think they're going to be playing us. I do think we'll beat them, though. I don't think they're that good. And Argentina, Peru, I think that's going to be another really good game. They, when they play each other, actually, in qualifying, that's a South American battle, that. But I'm actually going to be going for Argentina in that one. I think they're going to get through. I think they're going to try and really do something this World Cup. So, yeah, we'll go for Argentina in that one. Um, in terms of Germany, Switzerland, uh, I'd like to think Switzerland could do something there. But I think Germany would probably win that one 1-0 for, like, a set piece or something. And then Colombia, England, that's a very good tie, actually. Um, England or Colombia, I'd probably back Colombia in that one. I think Colombia would dominate England, to be honest, all over the park. I think they have more energy, more enthusiasm, and more desire to win the ball very, pretty much. I don't think England will be up for the fight against a team that up for it, like Colombia. I certainly wouldn't want to come against them myself as a Spain fan. I just think they're brilliant. Uruguay, France, so we're moving on to the quarterfinals now. Who is going to go through? Personally, I think France. I think Uruguay would have been able to hold their own in this competition. Being Portugal is a nice little... Um, um, asset for them, but I don't think they're going to go any further than the quarterfinals. Brazil, Belgium, I think that's Belgium's end to the, another disappointing tournament. I think they're going to go out there. I think Brazil have just got the lot in this tournament. Spain, Argentina, I think Messi's going to try and get them a few goals in this one, but I think we can just knock them out of the game, basically just by passing it around them and wearing them down. I don't think we're, we're going to be knocked out here by Argentina. We've had actually quite a nice draw so far. Well, our hardest opposition have been Portugal, Russia and Argentina. Not bad at all. I know Portugal and Argentina are very underwhelming teams of late. And well, Russia, people don't think they're that good, to be honest. Germany, Colombia. I think Colombia, again, could cause some real havoc in this competition, can I just say. But I do think that the World Cup champions of 2014 are going to make it through here. And that sets up our semi-finals of France, Brazil and Spain, Germany. In my opinion, the four best teams that are actually entering this competition right now. I think a lot of the people would agree with that. These are like the four bookie favorites to win the competition. So to have them in the semi-finals, like matched up in this, is very, very nice indeed. Um, and we're going to be starting off here with France versus Brazil. I think this is going to be a cracking game, but I do think that Brazil are going to make it through to the final here. I don't think France is going to do that in, I don't think France is going to get to the final as they did in Euro 2016 in this one. I think Brazil have got it this tournament, as I mentioned in the previous round. I think that's with Neymar, Jesus, you know, they've got Willian, they've got Coutinho, Paulinho, Fernandinho. I don't want to name the whole team, but it is insane. It really is, guys. And they, they just qualified so well. So I'm going to be going for Brazil there. Spain, Germany. Um, I think two, two sides are very experienced in these competitions. Two sides are now to win football matches. They know what it takes to grind out wins. But I do think we've actually got Germany this time. I really do. I think we're going to be able to make it to the final here. And honestly, guys, I think this is going to be the World Cup final. I think one way or another, it will come to this. And it's going to be Brazil versus Spain. If I was a neutral, I think Brazil are going to win this World Cup. But as a Spain fan, I'm going to be going that Spain can win this World Cup. Honestly, guys, I think we can. I think we can win the World Cup. Um, this summer. I think we've got the ability. We've got the nice mix in our side. Can Brazil do it, though? I also think they can. I think, as a neutral, I think we would probably lose to Brazil in the final, but I've got to back Spain. I simply have to. Those are my World Cup predictions. I think Spain is going to win it. Can we go all the way? I think so. I know we've got the ability to do it, so let's go for it, boys. I'm going to be able to submit that response. And yeah, guys, I've decided that Spain are going to win the World Cup. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll be back very, very soon for some more top stuff. And just before we leave, I'm going to do a little quick thing on the top scorer, the best player. So since the top scorer in this competition, I'm actually going to go for a Brazilian player. I'm going to go for Neymar. I think that Neymar's going to do it this tournament. I honestly do for Brazil. I don't think Messi or Ronaldo are going to do too much. I think Messi could be up for it, but I don't think Ronaldo's going to do anything for Portugal, if I'm being honest. Um, and, well, yeah. So that's why I think I'm going to go for Neymar. I think... Because of the fact Brazil are going to go so deep into the competition, of course, that's going to give them more chance to get the goals. So I think that Neymar's going to get top score in this competition. In terms of best player, it could be similar. It could be someone like Neymar. I think it also could be Isco for Spain. Um, I'll try and back Isco. Let's go Isco for best player of the entire tournament. Let's go Isco for best player. Let's go Neymar for top scorer. And let's go Spain for the winners of the World Cup. 
Thank you guys for watching this so much. Smash like on the video if you have enjoyed it. I'll be back very, very soon for some more content on this channel. We'll be wrapping up my series of FIFA 18 Jesse career mode. I'll also be wrapping up the FIFA 18 journey. And maybe even I'll get some World Cup FIFA 18 videos for you guys. Because I have actually been playing that of late. And I will be trying to get that out for you guys. I'm not sure though. Um, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite of late too, guys. If I can get some Fortnite videos up for you guys in the summer, that'll be insane. And just loads of other football videos, football versus FIFA. I'll try and get some nice content out in the summer. I know I've taken a massive break um, from YouTube. And of course, I've taken some time for me to come back too. But we're back now. So yeah, drop a like if you have enjoyed it. I'll see you guys very, very soon. But for now, peace out.